So I knew this would happen. PicMonkey came out with their own templates and I am super duper juiced. So let me show you what they have. Um, I'm on PicMonkey.com. If you're following me, please use the link in the bottom in the description area because I do get credit um, for um, referrals. So I'm on pigmonkey.com. I'm going to go to design and click on templates. Notice it does say beta. So there will be some um, bugs here and there. Um, I'm actually looking at it for the first time with you guys. So we're going to go through it on your left hand side. You'll see invitations, announcements, cards. These are good. So I'm just going to click on invitations. They look pretty good. Um, I'm going to go down to Facebook. Nice little covers. Um, and notice once you get here, there's tags. So I'm going to go back. I'm wondering if I could, yep, I'm going to click on X. So I'm not sure if you see that, but once you click on something, my mouse is acting up, there's an X here. So you can click on X and it clears the filter that you just did. There's tags here, Facebook, wedding. So it's, you're actually adding to the tags. Um, they don't have as many, and actually before I say it, yeah, these are print sizes. They don't have, a, have as many templates as our friendly friend Canva, but um, I'm sure that's gonna be coming. So um, I actually was working on something for a client. I just saw this and I'm super juiced, so I don't have anything I need to make. Let's just make something up. Let's see, I wonder if they have breast cancer awareness. No matches found. Okay. Note to pick monkey. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you're releasing something, you might want to choose um, a template that fits that. So I just picked um, this cute thing because, of course, it has pink. It says, I found I could say things with color and shapes that I couldn't say in any other way, things I had no words for. Oh, this is actually nice. Um, so notice that they do also have new layers palettes. That means you have separate layers that you create. This is similar to Photoshop. If you don't use Photoshop, don't worry about it. Um, but I'm just going to click um, new layer, layer, excuse me. And it gives you kind of the option for your layer. You can, um, it, you actually, sorry, you can actually view your layers. So one of the things in PicMonkey, if you've used it before, it was kind of hard to figure out what layer that you were clicking on. Um, so this background image, I'm just going to move it. So for if you're new to layers, so let's say I'm moving this. So this is one layer. I'm going to undo this at the bottom. The problem was I just never knew what layer I was clicking on. Now, if you click on that layer um, palette, I can easily click on each of these. This is actually pretty awesome, Pig Monkey. Thank you for that. Um, but you can click on the layer and then you could also flatten it. That means you no longer have those layers. That's what that icon used to mean. So I'm going to do this. Hopefully I can undo. Now there's one layer. I can't click on anything else. You only want to do that um, in certain instances. We're not going to go over that now. Um, this, these actually make the layers go up and down. So in other words, if I want the words, Say this to go behind. Let's go down a couple. So see how George is now behind this layer and I can go behind more. So in this case, it doesn't make sense to do that. I'm going to go click, um, bring it to the front, which brings it all the oops. And I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm going to bring all the text to the front because that's what I want to see as well as this little rectangle. OK, so that's good. Um, the main point was to look at the templates. Um, I'm, it's just, it's nice. You have a template already. You could add it to your hub and change it. Um, there's another beta over here that says, um, templates here. So I'm wondering if it saves. Okay. That answers my question. Wait, you didn't save your beautiful. Oh, it's Halloween. Beautiful changes. If you open a new image without saving this, this one, you'll lose all your changes. So long story short, if you click on a template, it's going to, um, you're going to actually destroy what you're working on. So, um, that's fine for me. I don't necessarily want to keep this. I'm going to go back. Oh, sorry. I'm actually going to not save this and I'm going to create announcement in my group. 
for, let's see. Let's do this. Boom. Oh, there's a preview too. Preview. Oh, that's nice. You can see it without even going there. So for those of you that are new or, you know, just getting used to pick monkey, anytime you see this, not the save button, you won't see that. That's my, my Pinterest. Um, that gold item right there, that means it's Royale. That means I am paying $4.99. Ballin'. Um, but I'm paying $4.99 to get these extra features. So if you don't have, um, that, you won't be able to use those. However, if you use the link in the description below, um, you can get, I believe it's 30 days free. Don't quote me on that, but you do get some kind of free trial. So I'm going to go click on boom. Nice. I'm just going to go ahead and put a last minute. I want to make sure it matches. I don't know if this is going to match. I'm going to add text, move it over here. Oops. Just mess that up. This is a perfect example of why you want this layer thing showing because it's hard to figure out. See, there's my text. Thank you, Pig Monkey. I'm just going to type in here. I'm going to double click. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do pick monkey now has templates. Just making it very, very easy. My mouse is acting pretty funky, so you shouldn't have this many problems. Just having problems with my mouse right now. So I'll just use my arrows on my keyboard, which is much easier when you're having issues. Okay, so that's good. I'm just gonna stretch this out. If I can, please work with me. No. There we go, yay. And then on the right hand side, I'm just going to put this in the middle. I may make this white, um, add an effect, maybe add a drop shadow. Not that much angle, more intensity. And let's do this. There we go. Then I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And it's disappearing that shouldn't okay there we go so let's make this 50 that's fine and so with the features that oops with the features that they um enabled before with um being able to save i can um and i'll clean this up before i post it but i can now save this to my computer or I can save it in OneDrive, etc. I can also um, add it to my hub to save it as a template for myself so I can actually reuse it. So we have templates we can pull from them. You can create your own templates. Very simple. I'm hoping they get to the point where they have a lot more, um, a lot more options, but for now, I know they're going in the right direction. And of course, I gotta change this to pink. Um, sorry, you guys, but oh, not sure if I could change the background. Hmm. I can't change the background. Nice to know. So, um, yeah, this is a great feature. Let me know if you like the new feature, if you've used it, what you're going to use it for. Let me know your thoughts. Do you still love Canva or are you loving PicMonkey a little bit more? I found that you have to pick the one that's right for you. But cool feature. Thanks, PicMonkey. Ciao. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hey, Nina again. So, did you like that video? All you have to do to see more videos like that is one, like that video, and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about a 
And I'll respond and let you know if we're going to add it to our list. Also, don't forget that I'm here every Wednesday at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern answering questions. But again, don't forget, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And subscribe. See you soon.